Good morning, Arthur Alfred ASNI. I would like to start off this morning with the death and insertion of my father, Arthur Rafferty Sr., who was brutally murdered, shot five times in the back by Sinn Féin Airy. And by the way, my father was unarmed. On the 15th of August 1974, he died on the 8th of September 1974. Rest in peace. Gone, but not forgotten. I promise you, Father, that I would sort your case out, and I will. Always remembered by your loving son, Arthur Rafferty Jr. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on him. The Irish News and the Anderson Town News refused to put his death and searching in because I, I named Sinn Féin A.R.A. the scum who murdered him. Uh, they wanted to take that out. Otherwise, they wouldn't put it in, so I refuse to take that out, so that is why I am putting my own insertion on YouTube. Thank you for listening. Now, I would like to speak about that clown, Terry Spence, uh, speaking again about his tired, overworked, burned-out police force. Again, I was up at the Woodville Alliance interface at least six times doing work for ASNI TV. And I saw plenty of jeeps, plenty of police, but little activity. Only police sitting in the jeeps with all the doors open. Others sitting on the cribs eating hamburgers, chips and coke. Also people from the area bringing cups of tea and buns and biscuits to them. Is this the same police that Terry Spence and that excuse of a chief constable are saying are hard pressed and need more police to help them? These same police who I see lying in the street, eating and laughing with loyalists from the area, are costing the public purse £50,000 a night for doing nothing. I only wish I could get a job like that. This would not happen anywhere else in the world, only in Northern Ireland. Police all over the world are prepared to do their job and do it properly. Our so-called PSNI and their Muppet of a leader, Terry Spence, and that Matt Daggett, all you get from them is, we want, we want, we want. Over £80 million pounds were spent on them recently at the G8 Sham. They are better armed than many Third World Armies, and yet they never stop crying about the job. When you see other police forces handling rats, they make it look easy compared to these PSNI. They stand like dummies with all their protective gear and shields. What is wrong with all the top of the range weapons that they have? Or maybe they haven't been taught how to use them yet. Matt Baggett talks about nearly uh, 700 police hurt. Well, what do you expect if your police force stands idly by and lets riders, some as young as three, four, five, six and seven, throwing stones at them? and puts up no fight. In Egypt recently, thousands of rioters faced security forces, but it soon stopped when they fired live rounds at them. Then the rioters knew that they meant business. To count it out, Matt Baggett decides to have talks with a delegation of orange men, the very people who are running this sham. I would like to know what was achieved at that useless meeting. Also, one of the leaders of that sham meeting, Mervyn Gibson, has been invited to go with the DUP delegation to the talks with Haas. What can that Oregon bigot bring to any meeting? I was a victim of the troubles and I have applied three times to attend meetings but have been, never been accepted. I also applied to attend the Haas sham but have not yet so far had any response. Yet they can invite people like that. Uh, I will be waiting to see the list of those who have been invited. No doubt you will get plenty from Sinn Féin ARA and the Loyalist organisations, people who, whose only contribution to Northern Ireland was to murder innocent men, women and children. If our Chief Constable was doing his job right, a simple solution would be to bomb all the marches. But Matt doesn't want to offend his chums in the Orange Order and also Sinn Féin ARA. And also, his overtime would be stopped, of course. 
It is time, now time, that the hard-working taxpayer calls a halt to this sham. The only people who are crying wolf are the PSNI, and they are the only people who are making big money. So there is no way in the world that they would want it to stop. I see our Chief Constable is in the media again at the opening of an abuse rape centre at Antrim Area Hospital. It's a pity he didn't take some action to save the lives of Fiona Pilkington and her severely disabled daughter Francesca Hardwick, who were found dead in a burnt out car after suffering years of abuse from Yobbs. The inquest jury heard that the Pilkingtons had contacted the police on no fewer than 33 occasions for help, but no one came, ca came causing Mrs Pilkington to take her own life and the life of her severely disabled daughter. The chief constable in charge of the Leicestershire police at that time was none other than our own Matt Baggett. Yet, no one was ever charged with the crime. I think it is a bloody disgrace. Also, Matt Baggett is talking about getting rid of the HET just because Sinn Féin ARA and some loyalist members of the policing board don't like the way they are looking into cases. Relatives for Justice and Sinn Féin ARA uh, want all their cases looked into, never mind anybody else. And Baggett, and Baggett is talking about putting senior police special branches in their place to solve innocent, people's, innocent people who were murdered by police, by Sinn Féin and by loyalists. And I, for one, will never accept that. I have full faith in the HCT as they are, looking into the murder of my father by Sinn Féin ARA, who colluded with the Spicer Branch. Nice try, Matt. It would be nice to have Spicer Branch PSNI looking into Spicer Branch PSNI murders. And I also noticed relatives for justice sitting in at the policing board meeting. I didn't know they were part of the policing board, but of course they are part of Sinn Féin ARA, and Matt Baggett doesn't want to offend his chums in Sinn Féin ARA. Speaking about the SDLP, I think it's time for a new leader in the SDLP, as Alistair MacDonald is a non-starter. The only decent politician the SDLP has, has now left. MacDonald is an Oregon man and his problem is that he has to settle for one job now and give the other one his jobs up. And he doesn't like that. I think, it, yeah, I think he was jealous of Colin because he was very popular in the party and the media. Other parties, if a member is in trouble, they usually gather around him to show support not the SDLP. Alistair was too busy going to a GAA dinner. He needed a GAA dinner badly. I think Colin should go independent now as what happened to him will surely happen to many, many other MLAs. The clock is ticking. Uh, anyone who has a story to tell and wishes me to hear it can call me on my mobile 07715. 921137 or I can send a reporter out to get your story. And remember, I will tell your story as you tell me. Nothing will be cut out. Watch more of my stories on YouTube, authorofferty.com, ASNI, asbestos support, ni.co.uk, YouTube, Arthur Rofferty, and Arthur Rofferty Docker. I thank you for watching ASNI TV. I will see you soon. Good morning.